Okay, Nana. So, hi, friends. Let's come to the next part of assignment. In this, we'll be solving problem number three. A has one surplus truck in each cities A, B, C, D, and E, and one deficit truck in each of the cities 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The distance between the cities in kilometers is shown in the matrix below. So, what is the matrix, Nana? Kilometers. So, when it's kilometers, obviously, will it be a minimization one or a maximization one? Definitely, it's going to be minimization because kilometers will eventually convert into cost. So, we would like to reduce the cost or increase the cost. Obviously, reduce the cost. And therefore, it will be a minimization problem, right? And look at the question over here. You have six columns and you've got one, two, three, four, five, five rows. Okay, let's see what is asked. So, it is unbalanced. Find the assignment of trucks from the cities in surplus to cities in deficit so that the total distance covered by the vehicles is minimum. So it is very clear in the question. He wants the total distance to be covered by the vehicles is minimum, which means it is a minimization problem. Okay, now you just read this question. We'll start solving. Right, Nana. So let's look at third problem. Okay. Now, the order of the matrix is the order of the matrix is five by six, correct? Five rows and six columns. So it is, it is what, Nana? Unbalanced, unbalanced assignment problem it is unbalanced assignment problem so what we need to do we need to balance it before solving we need to balance it before solving so now the question is how to balance it pretty simple you need to add a dummy row you need to add a dummy row for the deficient number for the deficient number the all the elements of the dummy row will be zero all the elements of the dummy row will be what nana zero so that's very important all the elements of the dummy row will be zero so which means how the matrix will look like let's see here 12 10 15 22 18 8 then you have 10 8 25, 15, 16, 12. Then we have 11, 10, 3, 8, 5, 9. Then you have 6, 4, 10, 13, 13, 12. Then I have 8, 12, 11, 7, 3, 10. Then you have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is your matrix. Now tell me, is it balanced now? Yes, it is balanced. Okay, is it minimization matrix? Yes, it is minimization matrix, which means all the two conditions are satisfied. Can I solve this problem now? Answer is yes. You got the point? So what we have done is we have converted an unbalanced problem into a balanced one by adding a dummy row. Is that clear? By adding a dummy row. So once the dummy row is added, now that it has become what? Balanced. So it is balanced and it is a minimization problem, obviously. So straight away, we can go for the regular steps. So what is the first step, Nana? The first step will be row operation. The first step will be row operation. So row operation means we already know. Take the least element from each row and reduce it from the rest. Look at the next step here. I mean, we'll do it for the first row remaining rows i'll directly put the answer okay so what is the least number nana here the least number is eight correct you reduce it from the entire uh, row which means 12 minus 8 it's gonna be 4 10 minus 8 2 15 minus 8 it's gonna be 7 22 minus 8 it's gonna be 14 
18 minus 8 it's gonna be 10 and 8 minus 8 it's gonna be 0. So same thing we have to do for second row, third row, fourth row, fifth row and sixth row. Correct? In each and every row select the least element and then reduce the entire row from that particular number. Right Nana? So let's do the row operation. So what's gonna be our matrix? After row operation is what we are going to see. So it will be 4, 2, 7, 14, 10, 0. Then for the second row, it's gonna be 0, 8, 15, 5, 6, 2. Third row, 8, 7, 0, 5, 2, 6. Fourth row, 0, 8, 4, 7, 7, 6. Fifth, 5, 9, 8, 4, 0, 7. And last, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Because if it is entirely 0, the least is 0. 0 minus 0 will give you 0 only, right? So it remains the same. Got it? Now, guys who are watching the video, please understand you have to do along with me simultaneously. You got to do along with me simultaneously. You take your pen, you take your paper, you take your book and then do along with me simultaneously while watching the video. Don't just watch the video without doing. It's not going to work. When it comes to OR operations research, it's all about practice. So you do along with me simultaneously. Is that clear? Right. Now, what is the next step? Next step will be column operation. Now, no need to do any column operation. Why there is no need? Why? Because in each and every column, you have a zero. Correct? As a result, what will happen? What is column operation? Select the least element from a column. So what is the least element in the first column? Zero. And reduce it from the rest. So 4 minus 0, 0 minus 0, 8 minus 0, 0 minus 0, 5 minus 0, 0 minus 0. You will get the same column. Same logic applies to the second column as well. What is the least number in that second column? Zero again. Right? And uh, you have to reduce it from the rest. So what will happen? 2 minus 0, 8 minus 0, 7 minus 0, 8 minus 0, 9 minus 0, 0 minus 0. You will get the same. Third column, same. Fourth column, same. Fifth column, same. Sixth column, same. Which means we will get the same matrix again. So after column operation, we haven't done anything special. We are going to get the same matrix. So 4, 2, 17, 14, 10, 0. 0, 8, 15, 5, 6, 2. We need to put these steps, okay, because we need to get uh, marks in the exam. So 8, 7, 0, 5, 2, 6. 0, 8, 4, 7, 7, 6. Then we have 5, 9, 8, 4, 0, 7. Then we have 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0. Done. Okay. After column operation, what is the next step we need to do? Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Now, let's look at the first row. So, what did I say? What was the logic I told you? To cover zeros with minimum number of lines, select that row or that column which has got maximum number of zeros. Select that row or that column which has got maximum number of zeros. Select that row or that column which has got maximum number of zeros. It's very easy. Which is the row which has got maximum number of zeros? Last row, obviously, because it's a dummy. Now check the remaining. First row, 1, 0. Okay. Second row, 1, 0. Third row, 1, 0. Fourth row, 1, 0. Fifth row, 1, 0. So all the rows are having 1, 0. Columns. First column, 2 zeros. Second column, nothing. Third column, 1. Fourth column, nothing. Fifth column, 1. Sixth column, 1. So I'll go with second, first column. Why? Because I've got 2 zeros. Correct? Now we have how many? We got one zero here, one zero here, one zero here. If you go column wise, this column will be one line, this column another line, this column another line. Correct. This zero gets covered, this zero gets covered, and then this zero gets covered, right? So therefore, one zero, two zero, three zero. So we'll be getting three columns, three lines. Or even if you go with rows also, here one zero will be covered, one line, second zero will be covered, another line, third zero will be covered, another line. You got the point. So I'll go row wise. There is no rule that you need to go like this row wise. You can go column wise also like this. One, two, three. Like that also you can go. One, two, three. Like that also you can go. Is that clear? I went row wise. It doesn't matter. Is that clear? See, maybe one iteration will increase or one iteration will decrease. But ultimately your answer is going to be the same. You can choose either rows or columns. There is no strict rules over here. Is that clear? Right. Shallow. Now, 
routine check what is that is number of lines is equal to order of the matrix is number of lines is equal to order of the matrix answer no which means we cannot proceed for assignment directly which means we need to proceed for iteration iteration can also be called as improvement what do you mean by improvement it means that whatever the solution that you have got right now is not the best solution it means that whatever the solution that you have got right now is not the best solution and there is a better even better solution which is waiting you got the point therefore what we are going to do is that we're going to do improvement for this existing solution we're going to do improvement for this existing solution and then again we're going to see whether we are going to get a better answer or not that is the whole logic here so the rule is if number of lines is equal to order of the matrix then directly we'll proceed for assignment because that rule proves that this is the best answer what we have got in case if number of lines is not equal to order of the matrix then it means that whatever whatever the initial whatever the initial answer that you have got right now which you can see it on the screen is not the best answer there is even better answer which can be possible and therefore we are gonna go for iteration or improvement is that clear now what are the rules for iteration or improvement very simple see now listen carefully listen carefully listen carefully okay now look at all the numbers here you can find certain numbers these numbers 8 15 5 6 2 all these are uncovered numbers they are not covered with lines correct all these numbers whereas look at the remaining numbers they are covered with lines so i call it as covered numbers all these rounded up for uncovered so they are uncovered these are all covered now in covered can you see the intersection points here this we call it as junction what do we call them junction all the intersection points we call it as what nana junction 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 you got the point now keep these three points in your mind one is uh, uncovered the other one is covered all these numbers covered with lines we call it as covered and the third one is junction junction means you have intersection four is a junction eight is a junction five is a junction zero is a junction 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 you got the point Chalo. let me change the ink color to make it better right guys okay so this is a junction 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 this is also a junction now what we need to do pretty simple you have to select least uncovered number okay this red looks very bad does blue suit yes we need to select what nana least uncovered number least these are all uncovered numbers right 8 15 5 6 2 8 4 7 7 6 what is the least uncovered number 2 correct take least uncovered number and you reduce it from all the uncovered numbers okay let me write the steps here first one select least uncovered number okay in our answer it is 2 next reduce it from all uncovered numbers reduce it from all uncovered numbers third add it to the junctions where we need to add it Anna, to the junctions then you can ask me what about covered and non-junction numbers what about the numbers which are covered and they are not in junctions you leave them as it is leave them as it is leave them as it is you got the point these are all the four steps these are all the four steps of improvement okay these are all the four steps of improvement now again let me recall the steps what are the steps now that we have got first one select the least uncovered number which is 2 in our case reduce that number from all the uncovered numbers add it to the junction wherever you find junction numbers you add covered and non-junction numbers you leave them as it is so you add it 
whereas from uncovered numbers you reduce it junction means you add it remaining covered and non junction you leave them as it is so no change so now come back here so what you are going to do here Le 2 is the least uncovered number so here it's going to be 8 minus 2 15 minus 2 5 minus 2 6 minus 2 2 minus 2 you got the point so that's what you are going to do right next 8 minus 2 4 minus 2 7 minus 2 7 minus 2 6 minus 2 got it then here you need to add to 4 plus 2 8 plus 2 5 plus 2 0 plus 2 remaining numbers you leave them as it is the covered and non junction okay if you do this working you will get the resultant matrix like this after first improvement okay this is the resultant matrix nana after first improvement so 6 2 7 14 10 0 0 6 13 3 4 0 10 7 0 5 2 6 0 6 2 5 5 4 seven nine eight four zero seven two zero 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 is that clear this is going to be a new matrix okay now this is my new solution after improvement this is my new solution again i need to check whether this is the best solution or not again i need to check whether this is the best solution or not so what will i do again i'll cover zeros covering zeros with minimum number of lines again covering zeros with minimum number of lines okay so actually what you have to do you, you need to repeat this matrix again here you need to repeat this matrix again you repeat this entire matrix again and then again you need to cover it with zeros i mean cover it with minimum number of lines i'll do it here itself okay when you're writing in the exam you have to repeat this step again i'll do it here itself now see here obviously you have the last row which has got one two three four five five zero so i'll go with the last row first i'll go with the last row because what is the rule i told you to cover zeros with minimum number of lines select that row or that column which has got maximum number of zeros correct so you got the last one then coming on to here i've got one zero two zeros let me write one two one 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 okay coming on to columns two nothing here one nothing one one okay same logic okay i'll go with the column now because it has got two zeros i can go with second row also is that clear that's your wish right now what i can do i can, uh, sorry i have two zeros in the last column as well okay i'll go with the last column which has got two zeros see you have one row with two zeros whereas you have two columns with two zeros therefore i went for columns is that clear so first column and last column has got two zeros whereas if you check the rows there was only one row which has got two zeros is that clear so i went with first column and last column now you have one zero here okay you have one zero here left over you have one zero here you can again go with two columns or you can go with rows so i'll go with rows like this one two is that clear i've covered all the zeros now with minimum number of lines otherwise you can go like this also Seven from seven you can put a column here to cover this zero from 10 you can put a column here to cover this zero anyway now tell me the rule now is number of lines is equal to order of the matrix is it so what's your number of lines one two three four five so five is equal to what is the order of the matrix you can see it has got six columns and six rows correct so six into six your answer is no so again we need to proceed for what improvement again we need to proceed for what nana improvement so this is very important got it but this important point you remember while drawing lines we had a situation where one row has got two zeros that is this one okay and two columns had two zeros that is this column and this column okay since there were more columns with uh, maximum zeros we opted to draw the lines against the columns is that clear this is very important right chalo 
now we need to apply the same rule so what is the same rule now we need to go for iteration why because this rule is not satisfied which means again what select the least uncovered number again 2 is the least uncovered number okay you reduce it from all the uncovered numbers so 2 minus 2 7 minus 2 14 minus 2 10 minus 2 6 minus 2 13 minus 2 3 minus 2 4 minus 2 6 minus 2 2 minus 2 5 minus 2 5 minus 2 okay junctions 10 is a junction plus 2 7 is a junction plus 2 2 is a junction plus 2 0 is a junction plus 2 7 is a junction plus 2 6 is a junction plus 2 remaining you leave them as it is so let's look at the improved solution after second iteration or you can also call it as second improvement so after second improvement what's gonna be your answer is it clear look at the previous one this is the before second improvement right this is after first improvement now i've already put there so you do those calculation you'll get the second one is that clear yes chalo let's look at the answer 6 0 5 12 8 0 uh, 0 4 11 1 2 0 you have to look your notes and then you put this one because in your notes you have already calculated na? so in your notes this is visible below this only you'll be doing it so do along with me simultaneously what is the next one 12 7 0 5 2 8 0 4 0 3 3 4 uh, 9 9 8 4 0 9 4 0 0 0 0 2 so I also have a notes with me and I'm trying to solve it is that clear so you also do along with me simultaneously now again we have to do the same thing so this is a new solution again this is new solution now again i need to check whether this is the best solution or not so what i have to do again cover zeros with minimum number of lines is that clear so again check it so how can you cover it with minimum number of lines let's see here you've got rows first row two zeros second row two zeros third row one zero fourth row two zeros fifth row one zero sixth row four zeros columns uh, first column two zeros second column two zeros third column three zeros fourth column one fifth column two zeros sixth column two zeros okay first i'll go with the last row where you have got four zeros okay so four is gone what is the next highest number three so now it is not three why because now once four is gone you have got only two here correct here also you have only one here you have two here even that one is not there here also there is only one here there's two you got it so now you have three rows with two whereas you have got one two three columns with two can you see here two 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 rows you see two 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 so i can go with rows or columns it's my wish i can go with rows or columns is that clear Anna? so what i can do is can i go with the first row yes two zeros uh, can i go with the second row yes two zeros can I go with this row? Yes, two zeros. Is that clear? Now, only two zeros are left. Already I went with rows, so I'll go with rows as well, right? So, therefore, number of lines six is equal to order of the matrix six. So, can I proceed for assignment? Yes. So, proceed for assignment. So, proceed for assignment. You got the point? Sure. Now, let's repeat the same matrix six, zero, 5 12 8 0 0 4 0 4 0 0 0 0 2 okay what is the step nana assignment so assignment i already told you what is the rule select that row or that column which has got single zero so first row two zeros two zeros no second row two zeros third row one zero so assign this gets cancelled this gets cancelled because in that respective column there is another zero correct fourth row there is only one zero so assign then immediately this gets cancelled correct 
fourth row I have assigned one single zero then immediately in that respective column this zero gets cancelled immediately you see in this row only one zero is there correct in the second row assign this immediately in this respective column another zero gets cancelled now immediately in this row there is only one zero correct now you assign this immediately in this column this zero gets cancelled okay now can i assign in the last row no because there are two zeros last before row how many zeros are there one zero so i can assign this then this gets cancelled then finally only one zero is left in the last row this is also assigned so one two three four five six everything is assigned i'll repeat it one more time okay i'll repeat it one more time i'll explain you six zero five twelve eight zero zero four eleven one two zero twelve seven zero five two eight zero four zero three three four nine nine eight four zero nine four zero 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 okay so first row two zeros i cannot assign second row two zeros i cannot assign third row single zero i can assign respective column zeros gets cancelled now once it has got cancelled in the next row in the fourth row now i have got only one zero so assign this and in this respective column another zero gets cancelled now in this row itself now it has got only one zero so i will assign this in this respective column this zero gets cancelled now in this respective row there is only one zero so assign it now in this particular column there is one more zero which gets cancelled now in this respective row there are two zeros correct i can i cannot assign so go to the previous row there is only one zero can i assign this yes now this zero gets cancelled because it is in the respective column and this is the only zero that is left over so you assign answer is done so therefore what will be your final answer this is uh, you have your columns and then you have your rows so this is a b c d e f and this will be one two three four five six so what is your final solution final solution cities cities so a city has got two correct so a has got two b b has got six okay c has got three okay d has got one d has got one E has got five. E has got five. I don't have space here. Then F, F has got four. Okay. Distance in kilometers. A to two. Look at the original matrix, right? Ten. B to six. Twelve. Look at the original matrix. C to three. Three. D to one. Six. Uh, e to five. E to five is three. F to four is dummy. So therefore, it is zero. So the final answer will be thirty-four. So five cities have truck and six cities requires truck. This means there will be one city going without truck. As per the assignment, it is the last city that is city uh, F, which is a dummy because fifth row is a dummy. So city F does not exist, whereas city four does exist. So this is real. City four is real and this is a dummy. So this dummy F is allocated to city four, which means city four is the one which goes without truck that is a logic over here is that clear because f is a dummy and for f city 4 is assigned therefore f does not exist therefore city 4 is the one which goes without truck and this is your final answer is that clear nana so i hope you have understood this particular problem no ways if at all anything is there you can watch the video again despite that if you got any problem you can whatsapp me right guys thank you so much we'll wind up this particular session thank you